Hi, I'm Karen Eckmeyer. I'm a quilter and fiber artist. Welcome to my studio. Today I'd like to share with you architectural quilting that I like to use in my happy villages. So here are some designs for domes and rooftops and for the buildings themselves. When I'm doing a dome or a, a, um, a rooftop, it's good to get radiating lines to give it dimension. Easy lines would be straight lines or curvy lines are great for rooftops. Here we're going to do bricks. We have stonework. Here are some shingles for rooftop. And one of my real favorites is scribble stonework. And let me show you how it's done. These I'll demonstrate on the actual quilt, but let's warm up with the stonework. Where does that start out? You don't have to be an artist to do this. We're going to start with circles. But think not bubbles, but think stones. And so we've got irregular shaped stones. We've got little stones. And notice it's good if you just talk. And I'm just going to be filling in the spaces with what I feel like are stone shapes. It's good to just fill the page with this. And when I get caught in a dead end, I just go back and around it. So I would just fill the whole page with that. That would be my stonework. How about bricks? How do bricks look? They start, we're going to do this kind of a shape. And I'm doing this in marker and big so that you have a better visual. When I come back to do the second layer of bricks, bricks <laughs> notice that that line is intersecting in the middle of the preceding brick. Okay, so that's how we do this. They're not perfect. A brick layer might not be too happy with my workmanship, but that's how I would do bricks. How about those shingles? Shingles are similar in that we're going to be doing this kind of thing similar to the bricks in that when I come back to do the next row I'm intersecting in the middle of what was preceding it. So there are shingles. Okay. Tricky part is when we do this on the quilt it's going to be a lot smaller. Okay but the idea is to warm up. Okay how about the scribble stonework? Now that's fun. I think we can all can scribble and the idea is every now and then we get a stone shape in there but this is just a great way to fill an area of a building. Do you think you can do that? I think that's kind of fun. Okay, so that's our scribble stonework. Okay, now I've warmed up on a larger scale before I do anything further on my quilt, I want to take out my notepad and I want to do that same design in a smaller scale and the size that I'm actually going to do it. It helps to really, literally, fill the whole page with this. Just put some good music on and just create stones. Okay? Just get yourself warmed up. Here's some rooftops. Practice doing bricks smaller. Okay? Just the same idea that we did before. Shingles and our scribble stonework and here we have the shingles in a triangular shape. Before I actually start to quilt on one of my happy villages I make what's called a sandwich in the quilting world. It's a piece of fabric, a piece of batting, and another piece of fabric. And this way I can make sure that the tension on my machine is good and that I am warmed up to go. So let's Let's see if I am. I have a variegated thread in my machine because I like how that changes and it makes the stone look, look more interesting. So I've brought up my bobbin thread. I'm going to hold on to those. My feed dog are down for free motion quilting. And now I'm ready to create some stones. I live in New England, so we've got a lot of stone walls. We've got a great stone fireplace to inspire me to look at rocks. If you don't have that, it's just, it's time to doodle. Okay, so I'm pretty warmed up with that. Remember, mix in little rocks and some big rocks here. Okay, now maybe I should do some bricks just to warm up. 
with the bricks, I should have been going up and down in the same area. Notice I missed it. I'm not a total perfectionist here. We're going for the idea of the essence of the bricks look here. Okay. There we've got our bricks. And let's just, let's go to our scribble stonework here. I think we all can do that. Again, we're working in a much smaller scale. Great way to learn free motion quilting. Okay, and now let's see. We haven't done shingles. Got to warm up us doing some shingles here. Okay, so here we go. Okay, now with the next row, we've got to bisects that. I'm probably making this look way easier than it is. I've had a lot of practice, and what you're going to want to do is practice, practice, practice. If you have a stitch regulator on your machine, you might want to try with that. So I think I'm warmed up and ready to go. I have a Happy Village collage here. Um, all the shapes have been collaged. The raw edge, I have a layer of tool, very fine netting, and my batting and my backing. So this little village is ready to be quilted. So I thought we would put some nice dimension on the dome. Okay, so let's start with that. I'm going to get my bobbin thread up. And then we're going we're gonna to dissect it right down the middle to begin with. Okay, a couple of securing stitches. Go right down the middle. And for my happy villages, I'm quilting in the ditch next to each of the shapes. Not on the edge, but next to. Now I'm going to dissect that in half. And I'm going to go back and dissect it again. And dissect that other one. And now I'm going to travel over to about the midway point. Follow the curve and dissect that one also again. And then come over, dissect this one. And over to the top. And now I just happen to be next to a triangular roof that can be quilted the same way. I'm going to go around the edges. And then I come up to the top here. And I'm going to go right down the center. And again, dissect it. I didn't catch this other side of the roof before, so I'll do that now. It's okay to go over stitching before. You really don't see the stitching here. And then I'm going to bisect that one. Okay, so there's the two rooftops. Let's do some stonework. I'm going to do some stonework here in this building. Okay, so I'm going to outline that building. And my stonework is going to, it's a fairly tiny building here. So I'm going to go around like so, go around my building as I get to it. Maybe some smaller stones, maybe a big stone. Okay, this building is done. We've got the nice stonework on there. And let's see, maybe this building down here needs some brickwork. Let's try to do that. There we go. First, I'm going to outline that pinking sheer cut here. I'm going to add tiny bricks to my building. Perhaps the building next door will get some scribble stone work. There we go. Time to play. I'm just kind of getting myself situated here. Just get that building outlined and now it's time to scribble. Once I finished, I clipped the threads on the top and the bottom. 
and I'll show you what that looks on some of my lar larger pieces, but I hope that gives you some ideas of how to use my designs for uh, quilting your happy villages. So here's what it looks like on a finished quilt. Look at those nice, it really gives the dome some perspective there. So we've just got the simple lines, same idea on the triangular rooftops. Here we've got our stonework, a lot of stonework, and our bricks. And sometimes I'll just use the shingle effect just to fill in a space. So it really adds the dimension to your Happy Village fabric collage. So I hope that gives you some good ideas and have fun quilting. Remember, it does take practice.